Okay, how's everybody doing out there? I'm back with another fragrance review, and this review is going to be on Christian Dior's Miss Dior. This fragrance was created in 1947, and here are the list of notes. Top notes contain bergamot, aldehyde, clary sage, gardenia, and galbanum, while the middle notes are rose, neroli, and jasmine, and the base includes of oak moss, patchouli, and citrus Lebanon. Okay, uh, this fragrance, Miss Dior, is really classified as a um, floral, woody fragrance. And let me show you the bottle here. This is the vintage, by the way. This is the vintage cologne. This is how the bottle looks. You guys can see that. And this is a 1.8 ounce bottle. There are some numbers. Letter stamp at the bottom there. And it has the ribbon there. Uh, the ribbon kind of faded because I accidentally got a little cologne on the ribbon, so it turned to kind of pink or whatnot. Anyway, I really love the classic vintage bottle designs of uh, the Dior's like this. They're really nice, especially, you know, they just reek of vintage and classic, you know. So the bottle designs are nice. You see, I have about half full left. Um, this cologne is a very nice cologne. It's actually Christian Dior's flagship fragrance. One of his top sellers. I'm not sure if it's selling on that level today as it did some years ago, but it uh, was and I believe still is Christian Dior's flagship fragrance. Uh, Miss, Miss Dior is a very nice site uh, full of aldehydes, a bergamot, uh, some rose, some neroli, and the whole composition is really nice. This cologne concentration lasts a good five hours on me. Uh, the projection on this, uh, for the first hour or so, it projects very nice. People will be able to smell you when you wear the vintage cologne. Like I said, longevity, I get about five hours tops, but uh, one thing that I noticed from Miss Dior is that the uh, when the clary sage kicks in, it reminds me of Thanksgiving. Uh, it's like the smell of dressing because, you know, you use sage and dressing. And every time I put it on, it just wham, you know. I get the nice burst of uh, sage. And I'm not really one for smelling like sage. And it's not a bad scent. It's not a bad note combined with the others, but um, it does stand out and it sticks out. It just reminds me of Thanksgiving and, you know, eating dressing and all that and smelling the sage and whatnot. But uh, Miss Dior is a very elegant, timeless, classic fragrance. Um, it's feminine. A lot of men uh, do enjoy it as well, but it is a feminine fragrance. I enjoy it. It is a classic fragrance. Uh, a big seller. Uh, <clears throat> Miss Dior suits, I believe, a woman in her late 20s on up or early 30s. I don't see a young girl wearing this, a teenager. It just does not suit their persona. So uh, this is definitely class in a bottle right here. Very nice, very elegant. Uh, best used, in my opinion, for spring and summer wear. Um, besides that, um, I do get that nice oak moss, uh, citrus, floral thing towards the end, and um, the sage is constantly there. Uh, that note is there from like beginning to the end with me on this fragrance. And uh, for these vintage bottles, of course, you know you're going to pay a lot more uh, to get a hold of these. But for the current formulations, uh, the 1.7 ounce EDT is going for about $69 and the 3.4 ounce EDT is going for about uh, $90, I do believe. So those are the prices on Miss Dior. However, I'm not really um, accustomed to the current formulation. I've worn it once, smelt it a few times. so. I really can't 
cast my judgment in comparison between the current formulation and the vintage. I just know I have a bottle of the vintage and I love the vintage. Um, and I'm not one to tell you, you know, oh, don't go looking for the vintage, you know, just get the current formulation because I myself uh, find that I go for vintage fragrances over the current formulations because they tend to smell better and they were just timeless pieces compared to the reformulated ones. So I'm not going to say don't break your neck searching for a vintage fragrance. Hey, if you want a vintage fragrance and you want to know what it originally smelled like or what it smelled like 20, 30, 40 years ago, I say go for it because you may be in for a surprise and you may love it much, much more than the current formulations of today. So um, do yourself a favor. I'm sure a lot of you out there may be familiar with it. Um, a lot of you have not because, like I said, it is an older fragrance. It's from 1947, so it's been around some time. A lot of you have heard of it if you haven't tried it. Um, I suggest it's a fragrance that you should definitely try if it does not suit you. But it's, like I said, classless. Um, I'm sorry, not classless, but classic. Uh, business suits, dates, office wear could be worn pretty easily. Um, I think it's a pretty versatile fragrance. Just, it does not scream winter or dead of winter or fall for me. It's a spring, summertime fragrance. So, uh, that's really my review on Miss Dior. Uh, I would love to hear your feedback on this great fragrance. Um, I enjoy it very much. I'm going to be looking for another vintage bottle soon. So, let me know your thoughts on Miss Dior and um, I can't wait to hear from you. And I should be coming out with another review soon. So I will get with you guys soon. Alright, take care.